my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a travel ba cat bag haul video. Um, for those of you who don't know, Luna is actually um, an ESA, which is an emotional support animal, so I bring her everywhere I go. The places that I take her to, um, the owners already know me, so they're fine with her being in a carrier when she's with me. And um, I do go on some overnight trips and I do travel <laughs> across um, Illinois with her. Um, but not only is this just a travel cat haul video, I do wanted to show you the newest additions to our house. So um, Luna was actually a birthday gift uh, that my husband gave me um, a cup of when she was about eight weeks old. And then on the 4th of July weekend, my mother gave us these cute little kittens. This is Eclipse and this is Sola. They're both brothers. They're actually from the same litter. They were both born on April uh, 21st of this year. Um, they've already had their first set of shots. Oop, sorry, I'm opening the door for Luna because I was trying to keep them out. But um, yeah, so now I travel with three kittens um, to and back from my house and when I go traveling as well. Um, and I just wanted to show you what is in this giant bag that I bring with me every time I bring all three kittens or if I just bring Luna. So if you saw my last video, I showed you that I knew a good place to put these things on and I put these on here. I think these are just super cute and it's perfect because they're cats and Luna's a cat. So yes, that is what's on here. So first off, the bag, I actually got this at Petco. This is the cutest bag that I've, I've ever found. And I got this for only $5. And it's actually supposed to be a cooler, but I think it's great the way it is. Um, they did give me a huge discount on it just because it was a little dirty, but I told them they didn't have to because I could have just cleaned it myself. Plus, I like supporting Petco because they are they've been really good to me. So, but yeah, like I said, it's just super cute. It's got lots of puppies. It's got like a doggy. It's got like some bones and it says hello. There's a fish on it, but it's like, it's adorable. So let's go ahead and go in here and let's, let me show you what we have in it. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to go off is toys. So I always carry a couple toys with me um, when I am traveling. The first one is going to be this one. So they go crazy over this. So this is a crinkly mat, a mat, and it's a mouse, and it does come with these little feathery things. So this is something they do enjoy playing a lot. Um, I just put this on the ground and <laughs> shake it up a little bit. As you can hear, it's very crinkly, and they go nuts over this. So this is one of the toys that I do bring me bring with me um, when I do go traveling. <laughs> And then another one is a crinkly, um, another long toy. They do love crinkle toys. So this is another toy I bring with me. Um, and third toy, I don't have all their toys technically in here, but it's just this is just something that I just bring, um, just throw it in there because my mom has a set of toys at her house too, so I don't bring that many toys. And the last one is a pushing teaser toy and this one's a little cheeseburger look at that i got this when luna oh when we first got luna and she loves these things she's obsessed with it go get it luna go get it she's just staring at it so but yeah i mean i i used to carry a lot of toys but now that my mom has a ton of toys at her house i don't bring that many with me unless i am traveling somewhere else but I mean, other than that, I mean, that's basically the main toys that I bring with me. Um, the next thing is, is that I definitely have to bring um, Luna's leash and harness. So this is the leash and harness that she wears when she is out with me. Um, I think now that she's old enough, this will fit her a lot more properly. Um, she does have a tag on her that just says what she is. Um, an emotional support animal and it has all my contact information on there but this is the vest um that she will be wearing um when she is with me um because when i go to conventions she does come with me and so yeah this is what she wears next thing on the list is a mat well you can't just bring bowls without a mat so this is the mat that i use um when they need to eat it's, it's just like a little clown cloud <laughs> it's a cloud um rubber silicone a mat and i like this one because this is dishwasher safe 
and you can easily it will go take up to like 300 degrees in heat um but i just thought it was cute because i was trying to go for a pink and uh white with a little bit of gray uh color for the whole bag thing so but i thought this was a really good thing oh and just to let you know i bought everything on amazon this is not sponsored by them i really wish it was but i mean <laughs> Everything I got is on Amazon, so the next thing is these bowls. Now, I had to get these bowls. They were super cute. Um, they look just like cats. I like that they're very shallow and narrow. Um, cats are very sensitive with their whiskers, so I wanted to make sure that I got a bowl that wouldn't irritate their whiskers or, whiskers or get them wet. So, as you can see right now, they're actually playing on the mat that I just brought out. They're all three of them. But this is just a cute little bowl that I thought would be nice for the wet and dry food, for wet, uh, for water and dry food. Um, but it's cute. It's super adorable. I like it. It's really easy to clean too. Um, it's a hard plastic. I didn't like it that it was just a plastic one, but, you know, I didn't want to bring anything that was going to be, like, breaking during travel, so this will be perfect for it. Next thing I got was actually this cute little bag. This I actually got on Amazon as well. This is actually a makeup bag, but I don't use it as a makeup bag. I actually use it for other things. So, just in case if I don't want to pull out like the whole like nice stuff. I do have a travel water bowl and you just put, put it down and then empty it out when you're done, water some plants and then fold it up and then there you go. And then another thing is that what I got for wet food, I did get two of, the, two of these for a reason, just because they were super cute and they're little cats. And they're shallow again, too, which is really adorable. Since I had travel with three cats, <laughs> got to have a lot of bowls. You can never have too many bowls when you have three cats. So, But these are super adorable. They're pink and they're white, and they have cats on the bottom of their faces. So I just thought it was really cute to get one of these. Well, actually, I got two of them. These were actually on back order. I had to wait to do my whole entire order for these because I did not want to check out without these knowing that they were actually in inventory so i'm so glad that i was able to get them because apparently they are very popular on amazon and people just buy them like crazy so <laughs> next thing i have is another bag now this is actually a swimsuit bag where you put your wet uh, swimsuit in here but i don't use this for um a swimsuit at all just because First of all, I can't swim, so there's no point for me to own a swimsuit. So I got this for actually um, all of the um, grooming stuff. Now, I originally had one kind of, I originally had two kinds of grooming um, wipes. I originally had the deodorizer paw and uh, bum, and these are from Well and Good. I love this brand. And then the Hydroallergic. Uh, hydroallergic uh, deodorant wipes but now I have three because Eclipse is actually a calico so he has long hair as of Sola which is the butterscotch uh, he's an orange uh, ta uh, tabby and um, Aluna they both have short hair so they don't need it as much but um, Eclipse my <laughs> my wonderful calico cat I had to get the shed 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 remover wipes shed reduce wipes so had to get a third one i do use these all the time these are really good i wish they came in bigger sizes um i know they have a bigger size for this one itself but i would rather just buy like a bigger size for all three of them instead of just buying the small ones uh, so i did get this bag for to keep all the wipes in i thought it would be really nice just to keep them all in one bag because um, i do keep some wipes here at my house and I keep them actually um, in the cat storage thing. So, yeah. <laughs> another one I have is another makeup bag. Um, this is actually super adorable. I don't. I, I just don't use them for makeup. I'm not really a makeup person. Um, for in this little cute little bag, I do keep cool two things. I do keep a train uh, trainer thing. Oh, this needs to be clean. Okay, well, I'm going to clean this in a minute. 
And then I do keep a laser pointer. Um, they are obsessed with this. <laughs> so I do like to keep some of this uh, play stuff. Matter of fact, where is that wet wipe? Ugh. I will use uh, this one because that is really dirty. Nothing about a good wet wipe can do anything about that. Well, that's not coming off. I don't know what that is. I might have to buy a new one. Oh, nope, it's coming off. You just got to give it some elbow. Yep. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it's all clean. So, yeah. But I do use this for Luna. She's pretty good. She knows when to come when I call her name. Um, she knows how to sit and she's the greatest cat ever. She is my baby. She is my princess. She is number one. Always got to let her know she's number one because she was by herself for since April 27th all the way to the 4th of July. So she needs to know that she's number one, but she loves her brothers. So she plays with them. But anyway, back to this one. Um, so yeah, like the first pocket, I do keep the clicker and I keep a, a laser pointer. And then in this bag is where I keep some more health stuff. First thing I do is I keep nail clippers with me at all times, um, just because you never know when a cat needs their nails trimmed. So I do keep this with me. Um, another thing that I do have is this calming spray. This is from Well and Good Again. Um, this was great for, um, when I first had Luna, she, um, she's like me. Um, we do have, she does have anxiety every now and then. Um, but she hasn't had it in a severe long time, so she doesn't need it as much. But I did use this for the other two kittens when I first got them. And um, it works really good. And now I barely don't even need it anymore, but I keep it on me just to be on the safe side. Next thing I have is a Ferminator. Now, I got the small one. This is the one for short hair. I did not want to buy two different ones. So I got the smallest one for short hair cats. Um, the only thing about it is that I'm just going to have to use it a little bit more with Eclipse because he has long hair. Um, but I did like this. It's really cute. Um, I have used it on Luna. It works. It's the greatest investment that I could do with it. So this was a great buy. Another thing we have that I always carry with me is Calming Aid from Well and Good. Um, they love this a lot. I use it for um, when they go to new places, um, mostly for like hotels, <laughs> definitely when I go to conventions. So this is actually really good. I don't use it all the time. I just use it once in a while, so it helps them. And then another thing is a vitamin paste. I do give these to them daily. Um, for Luna, I always give her one tablespoon. And then for Eclipse and Sola, I give them half a tablespoon. So this is a multivitamin and it, they love it. <laughs> they're obsessed with it. So <laughs> have to make sure that they're taken care of as well, especially since they travel with me. So, and I do go to a lot of conventions a year. So, I mean, to have them with me and they're basically part of my show cats especially since uh, when I do go to Anime Central they will be dressing up I do have a cosplay of mine for Harry Potter theme where I have them dressed up as the house characters of Hogwarts um, so I would probably be Ravenclaw the one of be Slyth Slytherin Gryffindor and Hufflepuff it's a really good idea I can't wait um, I already have the colors in mind that I'm gonna get so I'm looking so excited for this Next thing I have is the greatest investment that I could get. This is a travel litter box. Now, I did not want to carry a plastic litter box with me. And first of all, I don't like plastic. I hate plastic litter boxes. They are the worst. Now, a lot of people have a different opinion on this. I, I understand that. I respect your opinion. The only reason I don't like plastic litter boxes is because they carry odor like it does not go away so i have stainless steel litter boxes and as you can see right there i mean i will i'll do another video showing you the stainless steel litter boxes or i think i did one already i don't remember when i got luna but like i said i just don't like plastic in general so i got this and it actually opens up
and it's just a litter box. Now, this is just a really good travel litter box for me and the kittens. Um, the only thing that I would just have to do is just put litter in there and then I can just dump it out and it's easy to clean. It's not plastic. It's just um, this nice polyester material. Um, I think this is polyester. I don't remember what it is, but I thought it was really nice. I enjoy this thing. Um, I've used it already at my mom's house when she didn't have a litter box. So this is the greatest find ever. And they do have two different sizes. They have a standard and they have an extra large. I just got the standard because when I first got this, I only had Luna. But, you know, they this is pretty much like the same size as the stainless steel litter pan, uh, pan that I have. It's just a stainless steel litter pan is a little bit wider or longer, I should say. But they do use this. They're 100% litter train. And then with it, they did come with this. It's just a little scoop, so... <laughs> I mean, you don't really need the giant scoop when you have a travel one, but I mean, it's super cute. So, yeah. All right, and that is everything that I have in my travel cat bag um, that I have for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of anything cat-related stuff, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. I do upload videos every single weekend. And <laughs> let me see if I can get the kids for you one more time because... Here's Luna. So this is Luna. She is going to be, <laughs> Luna, Luna, stop, stop. This is Luna. She's going to be five months old, August 1st. Like I said, she's got this cute little tag on here. So but she is my cute pride and joy. She snuggles with me every night. This is a Sola. This is my orange tabby. <laughs> He's a little feister. Um, the thing about Sola is that he likes to instigate fights all the time and then he likes to whine about how he's in pain and it's not true. He just likes attention, which is really funny. And then, <laughs> let me get you a clip. And this is Eclipse. Eclipse is my calico cat. He is adorable. He is very laid back. Um, <laughs> when we first got him, Roger fell in love with him. He's my stepfather. Fell in love with him. He's so so laid back he basically just lets us do whatever he wants what we want to him so but yeah i just wanted to introduce you to the two newest kittens in our family we are so happy to have them my husband loves them very much actually my husband's favorite is actually sola he's in the litter box right now that's my husband's favorite he loves that cat i like them all but that's definitely my husband's cat so but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.